Greetings and welcome to the Confirm Web Demo Sessions, a series of short demonstration videos from the Enterprise Infrastructure Asset Management Team at Pitney Bowes Software. At Pitney Bowes, we deliver accuracy and precision across the connected borderless world of data and commerce to help our clients create meaningful impact. With this in mind, Confirm Work Zone has been designed for the specific needs of local government, their work crews or contractors, and private organizations supporting public sector work. Delivering process and efficiency driven job optimization for work crews, Confirm Work Zone provides the control between the back office and the field. There are a number of resource scheduling challenges facing organizations today. From managing the void between the office and field through manual paper-based processes, to the reactive firefighting activities of resource assignment without regard for efficiency or cost just to get the job done. This session begins to address these challenges so your teams can optimally respond to citizen requests and asset management tasks, whether planned day-to-day -day activities, recent incidents, or emergencies. Confirm Work Zone features an intuitive user experience that enables schedulers a one-stop shop for spatially managing work and crews in real time. The scheduling board is segmented into three distinct areas for easy reference and action. A job list of tasks that are awaiting to be scheduled and assigned. We've got our map area that lists currently scheduled and or currently in process work. And along the bottom, we feature the work crew calendar that provides a list of the different crews and the daily calendar, as is the case today, or the opportunity, as we look for forward planning, to actually do a date picker or schedule out weekly and or monthly and forward advance planning. We'll stick to today, and within today, we can take a look at what's currently scheduled. We're also given a, a few quick clues from color coding that makes it easy for schedulers to identify where work is and what priority it's in. You can see for an example right down here, we've got a green a highlighted area that indicates that that work's been complete and that we have assigned work that has not yet been started for the crew throughout the remaining of the day. That's our patching and resurfacing crew. Now, I also notice up here as we take a look that we have a pothole repair that needs to be taken care of. I can actually take that, drag that down to my crew and fill in the rest of their uh, time slot for today and get that assigned to that crew. You'll also notice up here, you might see a little element here that's got a one and color coded. That's actually indicating that while we've been in our scheduling session, new work has been generated. So what I can do is I can come over here and click save commit the changes I just made for my patching and resurfacing team and pull in that new task that needs to be scheduled. What's great about this as I look is as I go ahead and highlight on that task I can actually choose to show it on the map, narrow that focus, and instead of dragging from the list I can actually choose from here to go ahead and drag that down to the appropriate crew directly from the map. At any point in time, whether on the map, on the crew calendar, or within the list, I can double click and drill into more information about the task at hand. Giving me some header information about that task, what particular status it may be in, any attributes and or items that are associated with that. Clicking cancel takes me back to my scheduling board where I can continue the process of scheduling out work as applicable. The nice thing is once that work is scheduled and assigned it is immediately available for the teams out in the field to take action on that work. And within the world of Confirm that work is actioned using Confirm Connect 
our primary field tool and high volume user interface where login begins with a list of tasks that are currently assigned to the user or crew that's logged in and selecting any task will open up that particular activity. Now, as we've scheduled and we've been out in the field, I can go ahead right here, click my refresh, and within my refresh then what will happen is any new tasks that have been scheduled and assigned will show up on my work to list. So again, from here, I can go ahead and take any of those tasks and drill directly into the details of that, snap a photo at the beginning, start my work, and complete my work when it's done. At the same time, if I don't want to go directly from the work to list, I can simply come to the map, look at where my assigned work is on the map, and if we're leveraging GPS for the workers out in the field, get a breadcrumb trail of my route and where I might be at any given time. So you can see that being able to move from the scheduling board into the back office to go out into the field is a seamless process. That seamless process actually helps that planning ahead and forecasting for our allocation so that we can make optimal use of our field workers time out in the field so that they can be as productive as possible. Now if we consider the challenge posed at the beginning of managing the void between the office and the field, you should now have a better idea of how Confirm Worksome helps organizations improve transparency and provide a single point of truth for effective resource management, reducing operational costs, improving efficiency, and enabling you to deliver on key performance indicators. That's all for this session. Until next time, make it a great day.